Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogh Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will inaugurate tomorrow the fourth session of the fourth legislative term of the representatives and shura councils. His Majesty the King will deliver a royal speech on this occasion. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended a celebration hosted by Chechen President Ramzan Ahmadovich Qadirov, marking his birthday in the presence of presidents of many countries, senior officials and invitees. His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented the Chechen president with a commemorative gift marking the occasion, wishing him abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity to the Chechen people. The celebration featured many outstanding cultural, artistic and folkloric shows, as well as a welcoming song for His Highness Sheikh Nasser in Arabic. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, hailed holding the Arab Cricket Carnival, affirming that the Kingdom is a pioneer in hosting various events, championships and international sports carnivals, which had a profound effect in enhancing its international level. His Highness stated that holding the carnival in the Kingdom highlighted its modernity, development and progress during His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's era. He stressed that Bahrain has been holding cricket competitions since the last century as a result of the large presence of foreign and Asian communities in the kingdom, adding that Bahrain encourages the youth to play it. He noted that the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa's decision to establish Bahrain Cricket Association boosted the kingdom's interest in the sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid attended the events of the carnivals, including concluding day, which was also attended by the Ambassador of India to the Kingdom, Alak Kumar, and a number of sports enthusiasts. His Highness honored the first place winners in the competitions and received a commemoration gift from the organization committee.
On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Isa bin Salman Educational Territory Waqf, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa attended the Golden Jubilee celebrations in Brunei Dar es Salaam to mark the 50th anniversary of the Sultan of Brunei, His Majesty Haji Hassan Al Bukaya's accession to the throne. His Highness Sheikh Isa conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty the King to His Majesty Sultan of Brunei Dar es Salaam and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Brunei Dar es Salaam Al Muhtadi Billah. The Royal Family and the people of Brunei on the national anniversary and wishes of further progress and development. His Highness emphasized on the existing relations between the two brotherly countries thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and the Sultan of Brunei to further enhance cooperation at all levels. His Highness noted that the participation of Bahrain in the celebrations of the Golden Jubilee of His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei reflects the strength of relations between the two countries, which is reinforced by the exchange of high-level official visits, which consolidated bilateral relations. During the ceremony, His Highness met with dignitaries representing a number of brotherly and friendly countries, where the exchange talked on the distinguished relations between Bahrain and these countries.
the chairman of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charity Waqf, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today concluded his visit to Brunei Dar es Salaam, during which he attended the Golden Jubilee celebrations for His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei, Haji Hassan Al Bukaya, on behalf of His Majesty the King. His Highness expressed his sincere gratitude to the Bruneian King and the people of Brunei for the warm hospitality extended to the Kingdom of Bahrain's delegation on the occasion of the Sultan's Golden Jubilee celebrations. Upon departing for Bahrain, Mr. Pahinda to Abdul Rahman Ibrahim, the Minister of Finance and other senior officials, bid farewell to His Highness Sheikh Isa. The British Royal Air Force aerobatic team have returned to the kingdom to put on a thrilling show in Bahrain as part of a five-week Middle East tour. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The British Embassy in the Kingdom of Bahrain announced at a press conference held today the return to Bahrain, the Red Arrows, following a historic fly past last November, which marked 200 years of strong relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. It's really important for us that uh, we've been able to come to Bahrain. Uh, this is actually the second time within a year, so terrific that we've been able to come back so soon. Uh, last year in 2016, we managed to do some f iconic fly pass around the north uh, of Bahrain uh, with the Bahraini Hawks. And um, we thought, well, this year, what better way to celebrate our relationship by coming and doing a complete show. So tomorrow we will be displaying uh, just north at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel uh, and giving the, the best Red Arrow show that we can do. It's really important for us to be in Bahrain. Uh, we last displayed here in 2013. We did a fly past here um, last year. And we also did a fly past with the, the Bahraini Hawks, um, which is great because it's the same aircraft that we fly. So it really solidifies um, the history that we've got as two countries. We're sharing aircraft all the way back from the Second World War right to the present day and hopefully into the future. Uh, so be able to actually display those aircraft in front of the public in the kingdom um, will be a real honour for us tomorrow. The Red Arrows have been thrilling crowds at home and overseas since the 1960s. This year, they return to the kingdom to conduct a full flying display at 4 p.m. in front of the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. Of course, the, the close ties uh, with Bahrain, uh, we go back a long, long way. Um, so it is really nice just to celebrate that and to be here. And, and just that's a tangible demonstration of our close uh, relationship, which is brilliant. And this is part of a Middle Eastern tour that we're doing at the moment. Uh, we do quite a few of these tours now. They become uh, quite regular. So we've been traveling around Europe and uh, the Middle East. Uh, really pleased to be here. And uh, it's just great to be able to bring our display and demonstrate, you know, the best of the Royal Air Force, but also the best to British as well, so we're very proud to do that. This year, the Red Arrows returned to conduct a full-flying display as part of a wider regional tour to promote the United Kingdom's long-standing relations across the Gulf, especially the Kingdom. The Red Arrows team that are known and admired throughout the world are back to soar over the Kingdom. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 14,663,257 shares at 3,088,961 Bahraini dinars conducted through 324 transactions. Investors traded in 18 companies, four witnessed rising shares, nine fell, and the rest maintained their shares. The investment was the leading sector, and the commercial banks came in second.
CEO of Bahrain Bourses Invest Corp, Mohammed Al Al Aradi, said the company is seeking to invest in activities related to Aramco and assets in the healthcare and education sectors in Saudi Arabia. Invest Corp is working on 15 deals for investors, including selling stakes in companies and financial products. The company, which invests in direct investment and alternative assets, aims to increase its investment to more than double to reach $50 billion over five years by expanding its existing activities, such as infrastructure.